So it turns out Donald Trump, the former president, is completely psychotic. That's right. So this story out in the Rolling Stone. I guess I shouldn't be surprised, but man. Headline here, Trump plans to bring back firing squads, group executions, if he retakes the White House. And there's more. Bro, what the fuck? What <laughs> this the is, there's more. But they say here the former president wants to expand the use of the death penalty and expand the federal government's options for carrying out death sentences. So in a bit, I'll get to how there was already a hint of this near the end of his administration back in uh, 2020. But they uh, write here, quote, what do you think of firing squads? End quote. That's the question Donald Trump repeatedly asked some, cl some close associates in the run up to the 2024 presidential campaign. Three people familiar with the situation tell Rolling Stone. It's not an idle inquiry. The former president, if reelected, is still committed to expanding the use of the federal death penalty and bringing back banned methods of execution, the sources say. This is where he steps it up. He has even, one of those sources recounts, mused about televising footage of executions, including showing condemned prisoners in the final moment. So is he doing a fucking George Carlin bit, guys? Is Trump doing a George Carlin bit? Because George Carlin... The same way we made up the death penalty. And the death penalty. Aren't we versatile? <laughs> and you know, in this country now, there are a lot of people who want to expand the death penalty to include drug dealers. This is really stupid. Drug dealers aren't afraid to die. They're already killing each other every day on the streets by the hundreds. Drive-bys, gang shootings, they're not afraid to die. Death penalty doesn't mean anything unless you use it on people who are afraid to die. This is why I love George Carlin, guys. He predicts the future. Now Trump is fucking... Trump is literally trying to, like, do George Carlin, but into politics. Wouldn't you like to hear Dan Deardorff explain... The Monday Night Crucifixions. You'd have people tuning in, don't even care about football. <laughs> Wouldn't you like to hear Dan Deardorff explain why the nails have to go in at a certain angle? <laughs> and I'll guarantee you one thing, you start executing, you start nailing one white banker per week to a big wooden cross on national TV, you're going to see that drug traffic begin to slow down pretty fucking quick. Pretty fucking quick. You Here's where uh, Trump and George Carlin differ, though. George Carlin wants to... Uh, put capital punishment on the bankers. Trump would do capital punishment on the poor people and the drug dealers. Which is never going to solve the issue because poverty causes people to do things like this. You know what I mean? As long as you have poverty, people are going to keep doing crime like that. And corrupt people, if you let them get away with it, then the crime and poverty is never going to stop. I'll go back to the other one, though. Moments of their lives. Making it sort of a uh, spectacle. Think uh, The Apprentice crossed with total sociopaths. So this is what they do in you know, places like Saudi Arabia, where there are these public executions, and it's a big event. Is that what you want? Call a crackhead. Okay society to live in? where public executions, televised executions, are just a part of the culture. If Americans weren't already, uh, weren't already uh, devastated enough by the amount of violence that exists. But they also write here, specifically Trump has talked about bringing back death by firing squad, by hanging, and according to sources, possibly even by guillotine. <laughs> this is... This is... Uh, almost comical in how completely insane this entire thing is. He has also, sources say, discussed group executions. Trump has floated these ideas while discussing planned campaign rhetoric and policy desires, as well as his disdain for President Biden's approach to crime. I gotta say, uh, I don't think this is a winning position. Nope. If, if this is what <laughs> Donald Trump... If this is one of his big pillars that he's going to run on is group executions, guillotines, hanging, televised executions. 
I uh, think he's already got that base down. I don't think he's really reaching out to any new people. With, yeah, he's uh, going to lose this position. In at least one instance late last year, according to the third source who has direct knowledge of the matter, Trump privately mused about the possibility of creating a flashy government backed video ad campaign that would accompany a federal revival of these execution methods. In Trump's vision, these videos would include footage from these new executions, if not from the exact moments of death. Quote, the former president believes this would help put the fear of God into violent criminals, this source says. He wanted to do some of these things while he was in office, but for whatever reason... Yo, we live in a fucking dystopia. So... Before I get to how stupid the idea is that scaring people into doing good is going to keep them away from uh, uh, potential crime, I just want to share that this, he already kind of hinted at this, as they mentioned there in his um, announcement, so check out this piece of his uh, announcement for his new run. But we're going to be asking everyone who sells drugs, gets caught selling drugs, to receive the death penalty for their heinous acts, because it's the only way. It's the only way, he says. The only way to... You guys do know Trump does uppers, right? Like, he has, uh, he has pills and shit. Let me see. Let me show you guys. Uh, Trump. Um. Uh. Desk. With. Pills. Uh. Look at this. This picture right here, if you zoom into this picture. If you zoom into that picture, you can see in these cabinets, there's a better quality picture somewhere, I don't know where, but in that in that drawer, he has pills. That you can only get from Europe. Because in Europe they add a certain chemical I guess. That in America it's illegal. Yeah see. There's those, uh, it's right here, X, whatever. Um, what a dummy. But yeah, so he, he's a druggie, dude. To stop drug dealers is with the death penalty. Do you think people that get into selling drugs, do you think they do it because that's what they want to be doing? They always desire to sell drugs when they grew up. It's a lack of opportunity. It's a need to survive. It's a lack of housing. These are all issues that need to be addressed in a systemic way, with guaranteed housing, with actual opportunities, with real investments into communities that often are food deserts, are just completely void of any actual functioning system when it comes to healthcare, when it comes to uh, food, when it comes to job opportunities. That is how you properly address an issue like this, is you properly invest into public education, into housing, into these communities that are being left behind. That is the problem. Threatening even further or longer sentences or the death penalty is, is not going to do anything to address this problem. Because if that was the issue, if that was the issue, then the U.S. would be the leader in being in their ability to clamp down on crime. They would be leading the world in peace because of the amount of people that they put in jail. And I'm sure you all are already aware of this, but not, this is from the Prison Policy Initiative. Not only does the U.S. have the highest incarceration rate in the world, 
every single U.S. state incarcerates more people per capita than virtually any independent democracy on Earth. <laughs> to be sure, states like New York and Massachusetts appear progressive in their incarceration rates compared to states like Louisiana. But compared to the rest of the world, every U.S. state relies too heavily on prisons and jails to respond to crime. So Louisiana is uh, the worst in the world. And go down the list here. These are all states until you get to the U.S., of course. Then you get to El Salvador, uh, Turkmenistan, uh, Rwanda, Cuba, Thailand. The vast majority of states incarcerate more per capita than independent countries. Oh, my God. If the issue... Or if this was the way to solve crime, throwing people in jail or the death penalty, then you would have a lot less crime. You wouldn't have this situation where there are people who, in order to survive, in order to make money, they need to figure out something. And, of course, the vast majority of these crimes are somehow connected to, to drugs. There are actual solutions that could be looked at look at a country like uh, portugal for example with their decriminalization method back almost 20 years ago now i think and immediately rates when it came to addiction came down drug use came down because they not only decriminalized all drugs but also put money into healthcare to deal with people who were suffering that's what we from in america need to do their uh their addictions and getting to the heart of the issue when it comes to oftentimes depression, anxiety, uh, trauma. That is how you solve a lot of these issues. And of course, that is not going to be dealt with or um, properly addressed by Donald Trump. Now, also worth mentioning here, the former president's zeal for the death penalty has already proven lethal. During the final months of his administration, he oversaw the executions of 13 federal prisoners. Since 1963, only three federal prisoners had been executed, including Oklahoma City bomber and mass murderer Timothy McVeigh. In January 2021, in the final stretch before Biden would become president, Trump oversaw three executions in four days. So this isn't just talk. This isn't just, oh, it's just a story for the, for the newspapers. No, this he's already put into practice what he is. He's going to fucking execute everybody that protests against him, guys. Like, guys, shit's getting serious. Saying behind the scenes. And on that point as well, during his final months, Trump's, Trump's approval of hanging and firing squads is a national embarrassment. You may have forgot. I, I forgot this happened because, of course, so much was happening near the end of his administration. But this is one of the things that he did. Writing here, the federal government now will be able to hang, electrocute, gas, or shoot individuals if it does not want to kill them by lethal injection. And now this appears to be what Trump is going to be encouraging if he were to get back in power. Mm -mm. You have someone like this at the top. Think of the way that permeates through the rest of the culture. Just look over four years of Trump. The massive increase in hate crimes, in division. Now multiply that with a second Trump term where he, where he brings in, you know, stuff like televised executions. It would be a complete disaster. All right, folks. Oh, God, depression everywhere.